like you to go through a bank. About one minute, 40 seconds, flat. The <laughs> only way that you would leave a jail cell is when we take you out to execute you. Well, we'll see about that. With President Roosevelt's support, I am declaring United States of America's first war on crime. Your task would be to get John Dillinger. Are you up to that task, Agent Purvis? Absolutely, sir. How about your drink? What is it exactly you do for an event? John Dillinger. Oh, thanks. Go to Chicago and make some money. Woo! Bring and fine. Every time I read about one of your bank jobs, when you give the customers back their money, you crack me up. The whole country thinks you're a goddamn hero. Who gives a damn with the public life? I do. Where are you going? Anywhere I'm off. I'm gonna take you with me. All of it now! We're having too good a time today. We ain't thinking about tomorrow. One, John Dillinger. Dead? Or dead. <laughs> we're too good for him. That's why we're on top of the world. I ain't going nowhere. He's out there. Could be anywhere. But he's not anywhere because what he wants is right here. Don't come to Chicago, Johnny. I promised I'd look after you, didn't I? Well, then that's what I'm going to do. Pick up all known Dillinger associates. Doctors, family. Where are they? I want to know where they are. I don't know! Where is he? Sooner or later, she will go to him or he is going to come for her.